Hi everyone, about a minute on the silliness of this idea about electric airplanes. I've been flying a lot over the last uh, few weeks. I was in London last week. I just landed in Little Rock. And as I've been flying, I've been thinking about how amazing it is that we can fly and that we ride on rocket ships. Well, what fuels these rocket ships? Well, of course, it's jet fuel. And so I remembered that I, in my fifth book, Smaller, Faster, Lighter, Dents Are Cheaper, I did some simple calculations that compares jet fuel and batteries. And um, I'm in Little Rock, I'm standing, there's a Southwest Airlines 737 behind me. As you probably know, they only fly the 737. So I did the, the calculations again. I did this for my book. It came out in 2014, Smaller, Faster, Lighter, Denser, Cheaper, and calculated how much uh, batteries, if you wanted to replace jet fuel with batteries, how much it would take to fuel a jetliner like the 737, which is the best-selling jetliner in aviation history. Well, first, so what we have to talk about energy density. What's the energy density of jet fuel? It's about, uh, what is it, 43 megajoules per kilogram. In other words, 43 million joules per kilogram. What's the energy density of lithium ion batteries? It's about 540 kilojoules per kilogram or 540,000 joules. In other words, jet fuel has 80 times the energy density of lithium ion batteries. So what does that mean for the, the 737 to fuel that airplane with batteries? You would need 1.6 million kilograms of batteries. In other words, you'd need a, a battery pack that is uh, weighs 21 times as much as the airplane itself. And that's just the reality and not my calculations. Those are the numbers. So uh, uh, just another example of why we use oil. If oil didn't exist, we would have to invent it. It is a miracle substance. And it reminds me, I'm reminded of, it every time, of that fact every time I fly. Um, so uh, I'll stop there. You can follow me on Substack. You know where to find me, robertbrice.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.